Hello fish friends, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. Uh, if not, I hope my video will entertain you and provide you information required for your fish hobby. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk about a very, very unique fish. Uh, before naming the fish, uh, let me share with you what was going through my mind when I was preparing this uh, video. I actually wanted to name this video as uh, fishes that you should not keep. Yes, uh, fishes that you should not keep. <clears throat> then uh, I'll, I'll explain the reason why I thought about that title. Uh, then I thought about uh, it and I thought it's not fair. This uh, fish, cute little fish has given me a lot of uh, good times and uh, yes it is very very difficult to keep but it's a very fun fish uh, if uh, you are up for the challenge uh, you can uh, take care of the needs uh, probably this fish is for you so uh, keep watching to have more information Today I'm talking about a very unique fish, uh, cute little little fish. Uh, it's called the bumblebee goby, and uh, as the name suggests, it looks like a small bee. It's yellow in color with a black marking uh, on the body. Uh, this fish falls in the category exactly in the category of beef puffer. In fact, uh, I saw a lot of a uh, YouTube video on beef puffer, and I was very uh, uh, very excited to buy a beef puffer. Uh, pea puffer are available in Singapore everywhere but on that particular day uh, it was not available and uh, I saw bumblebee gobi uh, uh, it was an impulse buy to be honest uh, I did not do proper research and I just uh, picked it up uh, so uh, so this this video I want to do a little bit of uh, care uh, how, how do you take care of bumblebee gobi uh, plus, uh, I wanted to share about the two um, negative points that might uh, change your mind to buy bumblebee gobi. So, bumblebee gobi belongs uh, comes origin uh, originated from a, a country like Indonesia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Um, they are from a river and stream, a stream that enters the sea. So, they are they, they like brackish water, just like a uh, uh, pea puffer. Uh, you can keep them in 100% uh, fresh water, but I believe uh, they would need uh, brackish water as they grow older. And uh, the size maximum is like a 4 cm in size. The males are slightly darker in color and they are slender. The females are, uh, are a little bit washed out, but they are a little bit plumpier. And uh, the tank size for the, this kind of fish, the minimum tank size is about 10 gallons. Uh, temperature wise uh, anything between 23 degrees to 28 degrees centigrade would be perfect so uh, if you're in a tropical climate area uh, <clears throat> you do not need the uh, uh, heater you do not need chiller for this kind of fish pH anywhere 6.5 to 7.5 so it is uh, <clears throat> all the basic requirement explained so far looks like an, it's, it's, it's an easy to keep a normal fish but here comes the difficult part <clears throat> there are two main uh, issue for this fish number one is uh, they are like betas uh, they are very aggressive towards each other uh, but uh, not towards other fish so uh, you can't keep uh, more than uh, two meals together they, they will fight for food and all so they are not a community fish among themselves but can live with other fishes if you know what i'm saying yeah so that's uh, point number one and point number two which is which i found difficult is their uh, food habits dietary requirements uh, these fish uh, they are they are hunters so they require live food they require food like baby brine shrimp uh, blood worms they require uh, uh, tubifex worms and the best food that I felt uh, uh, convenient wise and they, they love to eat them are mice shrimp a small tiny uh, slightly bigger than brine shrimp uh, uh, slightly bigger than brine shrimp uh, mice shrimp they love this but uh, I appreciate the fact that mice shrimp is not available everywhere 
in Singapore it is kind of uh, easy to get so fine food uh, which suits the fish uh, and and uh, and uh, keeping them uh, together uh, would be a problem if you don't mind these two problem if you think you can handle it then you can go ahead so uh, that's it for my video i hope you found this information information uh, uh, informative and this will help you to decide whether you want to buy you want to go for uh, bubble b kobe uh, just want to say a last point in their favor they are really really cute uh, they have a they have a very unique character where they go and they don't have a sucker but they go and suck on the wall like 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 a pleco and it's very uh, nice to see them and they, they, they swim like a helicopter uh, i have a video to shoot montage to show you but i did not capture that uh, particular moment hope you enjoy it and if you like this kind of content please consider to like share and subscribe uh, so you'll receive all the future notification and my future video bye